There's two of us, but do you think we can make it by 8 o'clock? Yeah, we hope so too. Good morning, guys. It's day one of our Ireland adventure, and unfortunately, we are stuck in London Stansted right now. We hopped on the wrong tram. The flight closes at 7.30, and it's 7.30 right now. So, um, let's see what happens. Hopefully, we make it on this flight. Cheers. Well, as Alex might have explained, our adventure to Ireland's off with a bit of a mishap, but once the trip starts, it's gonna be amazing. We're doing a nine-day trip through Ireland, down the wild Atlantic Way, experiencing Irish nature at its finest, down to Cork, County Cork, the food scene that sprouted up there in the last couple decades, and then up to Dublin to cover design and a bunch of cool hunting stuff in the capital. So it's gonna be an amazing trip. That all depends on if we make this flight or not. The plan right now is to go surfing on the west coast of Ireland today, but we gotta make this plane, so wish us luck. Hopefully Ryanair, you guys come through. Thank you. Our first stop on this epic Ireland trip is Strand Hill, and this is one of the surfing destinations here in the Wild Atlantic Way. The Wild Atlantic Way, we should mention, is uh, actually the longest defined coastal route in the world. It's 2,500 kilometers long. So we're going to be hitting a couple spots on the Wild Atlantic Way the next few days. But first off, we're getting the water, so we're meeting up with some local surfers. What's going on? Hey, hey guys. Peace to meet you. Marco. Yeah. Eddie. Nice to meet you. What's up, Alex? Good to meet you, guys. If you guys did not know, Ireland is actually one of the most like underrated surfing destinations in the world. It's cold water, but there's some serious waves here. There's some huge waves. The County Sligo Coast is like one of the most wave-rich parts of Ireland. It's nice like limestone topography. Pretty good reefs, but a lot of good different setups and stuff, but very difficult because there's a huge, huge amount of tide and variables. With when it goes off, it goes off. Like you know. Yeah, we get like you guys in the water. We get, get it. It's not as cold as it looks, but um. Sounds good? Yeah. Let's do it. Guys, we just finished our surf. That was super fun. Even though the waves were not anything really to write home about, the whole experience was unforgettable. And I think that's probably the best way I've ever started any trip. Off the plane, into the car, boom, right into the ocean, and uh, had a little surf, so. Big thanks to Seamus and Eddie for uh, showing us around and taking us out on the water. How about you, bro? Yeah, Thank it was you. definitely a lot warmer than I thought it was gonna be. It was beautiful just to get in the ocean, and we're in some beautiful surroundings right here. Yeah, but right now we're gonna go uh, try out a seaweed bath, which I've never done before, but apparently 100 years ago, um, seaweed baths were all the rage here. It's a tradition that's been going on for 300 years, and this is one of the few original seaweed baths. Um, they've kind of brought it back here. So we're gonna go into Voya and meet with Neil, who's gonna tell us a bit more about the therapeutic properties of seaweed. My name is Neil Walton. This is Voya Seaweed Bats. Now the reason why seaweed bats would work is because seaweed and seawater is alkaline by nature. Generally our blood uh, is mildly acidic. So your body always wants to go back to a mild alkaline state. Having seaweed bats 
will help your body get back into a balanced state. Do we, you literally just get this from out front or what? Yeah, we harvest the seaweed uh, off the reefs. Uh -huh. So what we do, we cut the seaweed three quarters way down uh -huh. and that gives the seaweed the ability to grow back within you know, a three to four month period. Oh, perfect. Put it in the barrels, bring it back into the bats here, wash it, steam it, then it goes into the bats and all the spent, which is the used seaweed, uh -huh. we use in organic farms locally so here. completely organic and renewable. Absolutely, yeah. Source. There's a circle that goes around wow. all the time and we're always working with nature here. I post surf to a seaweed bath. Luxury. <laughs> We've had such a wild filming schedule in the last couple weeks that I just really want to hop in this bath and just soak and get ready for the next eight days of awesomeness. Which means that I am going to turn the camera off. I don't want to film anymore. I just want to soak. You know, you know if we had naked seaweed bath, this might get a million views. Oh. <laughs> well, guys, that was absolutely it was like unexpected. Oh yeah. my god, such a surprise, but so relaxing. Yeah, I, there was like a gel that came out of it that was just rubbing all over our faces. It was super nice. I feel 10 years younger. Yeah, but right now we're gonna go get some lunch uh, next door to Shell, which is like a surfer's kind of cafe. I'm Mayor Jane, and I am one half of Shell's Cafe with my husband Miles. Where we are now is amazing. We're like right across in the Atlantic Ocean, surf every day. And we're both like seriously foodies, so we love food and cafe culture. The west of Ireland was, is beautiful and a stunning place to come, but it was maybe a little bit behind and you couldn't get a good coffee or, you know, or, or like a really good homemade food. So we just wanted to put like city food and, and that lovely vibe into the countryside as well. It's nice. To get flat white. We don't have flat whites in America for some reason. We're missing out. I don't know why. All right, guys. Well, we finished lunch, and uh, we've taken a quick drive to a place called Nocknere. It's kind of like a mountain, but it's got a lot of significance in the past. It's full of some really interesting archaeological ruins and uh, tombs. So we're meeting up with uh, Oriel. She's a marine archaeologist. She's going to show us why this place is so special. So tell us a bit about the history. We know that this was like really significant in ancient times. Can you tell us what we're going to go see right now? So just behind us is Nocknery Mountain, and on top is a really famous cairn. And uh, it's said to be the burial place of Queen Maeve of Connacht. She's sexy. Yeah, she's, she's quite pretty, yeah, I have to say. <laughs> so a cairn is a mound of stones um, and it's generally covering something. So inside here is a prehistoric tomb dating back to the Stone Age. So it's probably about 5,000 years old. Well, how far is it to the cairn then? It's, it depends how fast you can walk. I like, <laughs> it's not a I long like way. Probably about 20 minutes from here. All right, yeah. let's, let's go do it. one of the most spectacular sunsets I have ever seen. It's just stunning. You can see why they call it the Wild Atlantic Way because the winds are just blowing right off the ocean. It's just so rugged, just such rugged natural beauty. Look at the sun rays coming through the clouds, man. It's insane. There's just a lot of elements at play here. And actually right there, random fact, that's Coney Island. The one in New York was named by a, a, a captain that was sailing between here and New York. And it reminded it. Next stop, actually, over there. Yeah, straight across the Atlantic. USA. So we're gonna go uh, walk down the mountain and then head over for a pint and some dinner. Sounds lovely. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
one. You'll never have me, sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Cheers, dude. First Guinness of Ireland. Guinness in Ireland. I hear they pour a good one here. It looks like it. Oh, I'm gonna get used to this this week. This is gonna be really nice. Wow. Whew. That was a good meal. That was a great day. Surfing seaweed bath. Awesome cafe. Epic hike to Royal Burial Ground. Amazing sunset and seafood dinner. I, I mean, that's day one. There's still eight days more to go. Tomorrow we're going down the wild Atlantic way towards Galway. We're gonna be doing some amazing stuff, as always. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for new travel videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. In the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace. <laughs>